Hi guys, welcome back. I hope everyone's okay. Now, uh, yesterday I went to Manchester City Centre to go to the Morphe store to buy myself a couple of things. And I was just about to interview, but the fact was, there was a hell of a lot going on. Now, I don't know if any of you remember the uh, lady that I interviewed a couple of months back who was sat outside in Manchester City Centre, but she was there with her associates, and uh, what happened was, one of the young girls seated beside her was having a complete and utter nervous breakdown, you guys, and the situation was that severe, there was no way I could have filmed, and I didn't even want to, because I could see how serious the situation was. Now, another girl who was sat with them, told her to go to Park House. Now a lot of you are from America, you won't know where this place is in the UK, Manchester. It's actually a mental place where people go suffering from mental health issues, for medication, therapy and that kind of thing. So that lady had to get herself there. And the woman who I interviewed a couple of months ago seems to be hanging in there okay. She's still got a drinking issue, but uh, she assured me she didn't take any drugs. Now, speaking of drugs, there was a lot of drug dealing going on that day, which is another reason why I didn't want to film and conduct an interview, because I don't want to get these people in trouble, you know. I understand they're running a business, and it's nothing to do with me. And it's quite different from what goes on in Detroit. Uh, the homeless here in Manchester City Centre, UK, they uh, buy their drug, the drugs, sorry, outside in the open. Whereas from what I can see in Detroit, a lot of the girls just go directly to the uh, crack house and the dope house. So, if anything, it's quite like what goes on in Kensington, uh, Philadelphia here in Manchester. It's like an open-air drugs market. So, you've got to be careful when you're filming. So, that's just a quick update. Uh, there was a lot of hustle and bustle. But apart from that, the uh, lady that I interviewed previously was doing okay and I was happy to see that. Thanks for listening. Take care.